While it was not a mainstream cultural phenomenon, Hauser's memory touched on several themes that echoed with audiences in the 1970s and still have cultural resonance with audiences today. The film emerged during the height of the Cold War, where the threat of nuclear annihilation was ever-present and hung over the heads of the populace despite citizenship. Cold War espionage and spy tactics remained the subject matter in films since the Nazi invasions of France and Poland, treating espionage as one of the grim realities of a post-atomic world. Espionage was approached as serious drama in The Spy Who Came In From The Cold and depicted in over-the-top action adventures like the Bond franchise and flaunted like a plaything in tease fantasies like Matt Helm. The Cold War was a backdrop in so many films, even in futuristic science fiction where only the dynamic was present. Audiences instantly understood what was at stake, adding a sharp layer of suspense to the film. The point is this sort of cat-and-mouse drama was everywhere. So much so, that by the 1970s, it became a stock device that could quickly telegraph what was at stake to an audience. The film's plot, involving a scientist injected with a deceased colleague's fluid to retain vital missile secrets, tapped into anxieties about national security and the lengths governments might go to in the name of civil defense. This was a central dramatic question that resonated with moviegoers in the 1970s, and was the topic that was at the center of an ethical debate the nation was grappling over the U.S. presence in Vietnam. The core conflict revolves around the intermingling of the scientists' own memories with those of the deceased, raising questions about the nature of identity and memory. This resonated with the growing interest in psychology and the exploration of the human psyche at the time. The film delves into the ethical implications of scientific advancements, particularly when used for military purposes. The manipulation of human memory and the blurring of individual identity spark discussions about the consequences of scientific progress without ethical considerations. The dead scientist's Nazi past creates a layer of complexity, forcing the protagonist to confront the lingering societal and personal guilt associated with World War II. This resonated with ongoing cultural debates surrounding responsibility, accountability, and moving forward from past atrocities. Despite these significant themes, Hauser's memory didn't achieve widespread cultural resonance. The broadcast didn't create a media sensation. It achieved a fair number of ratings and press, but was also panned in some reviews. Being a made-for-television movie, its credible reach as a form with artistic expression was limited compared to theatrical releases. Mixed reviews criticized its melodramatic content as staged and the handling of sensitive themes as superficial. However, the film's exploration of memory, identity, and the ethical implication of science remains relevant even today, making it a valuable time capsule for understanding the cultural anxieties and philosophical questions that disturbed the contemporary culture in the 1970s. into the wrong hands. Hauser's memory plays on these fears by presenting a scenario where not just information, but the very essence of a person's thoughts and memories can be transferred and potentially weaponized. The plot explores the concept of knowledge as a form of power that can be both dangerous and uncontrollable, resonating with the era's concerns about scientific advancements being used for destructive purposes, particularly in the context of the arms race and espionage. Two. The Legacy of Nazism By involving the memories of a Nazi scientist, the film taps into the unresolved trauma of World War II and the ongoing reckoning with the atrocities of the Nazi regime. The blending of these memories with a modern character brings up questions about guilt, identity, and the persistence of evil, which were still raw topics in the 1970s, especially as Nazi war criminals were still being hunted and tried. This aspect of the story also touches on the fear of the past influencing the present, a concern that was very much alive as the world dealt with the legacies of totalitarian regimes and the moral dilemmas of scientific progress. 3. Ethical Questions of Memory and Identity The film raises philosophical and ethical questions about what it means to possess someone else's memories and how this affects personal identity. 
In an era when psychology and the understanding of the mind were evolving rapidly, this theme would have resonated deeply with viewers, especially those interested in the implications of emerging psychological and neurological sciences. 1. Fear of losing identity. The idea of losing one's identity or having it contaminated by someone else's memories is a deeply unsettling concept that would have struck a chord with audiences. This fear ties into broader anxieties about control and autonomy during a time when individuals felt increasingly powerless in the face of global political forces. 2. Guilt and Redemption the character's struggle with the inherited memories of a Nazi scientist could evoke feelings of guilt and a desire for redemption, reflecting a societal need to atone for past sins, whether personal or collective. For viewers with a personal or familial connection to World War II, these themes would have been particularly poignant. 3. The Dangers of Knowledge The films focus on the dangers of possessing too much knowledge, especially when it's tied to something malevolent, echoes the anxieties of the nuclear age, where the pursuit of scientific advancement was often seen as a double-edged sword. In summary, Hauser's memory resonated with viewers by tapping into the deep-seated fears and moral dilemmas of the Cold War era, blending the unresolved trauma of World War II with contemporary anxieties about identity, memory, and the potentially catastrophic consequences of scientific progress. The film's cultural significance lies in its ability to reflect these concerns through a thrilling and psychologically complex narrative, making it a compelling and thought-provoking piece of television in its time.